Hi, welcome to Cooking Stuff. Welcome back to Cooking Stuff if you've already seen Cooking Stuff before. So here in Middle Tennessee, we're having an ice storm. Last second, I just decided to make a steak. I'm gonna show you how to make a steak in the sous vide machine and sear it and make a Marcella pan sauce. And it's super easy. It's gonna be good. I have this sous vide machine. You can get any kind of sous vide machine. They've got cons now that you can put in any container. So all you do is turn it on, hit set temp, steak, I cook it at 130, ah, 132. And you put steak in a vacuum sealed bag, put it in the water, you shut the lid and let it do its thing for, I left these steaks in for almost five hours. And they came out great. If you leave them in too long, if you go a lot more than five hours, the protein breaks down and it starts to get mushy. But this is gonna come up to 132 and it'll maintain 132 for the entirety of the cook so you don't overcook it. So the whole thing turns out perfect. And then all you gotta do is take it out and sear it. So that's the great thing about sous vide. You just throw it in there and just go do whatever you wanna do till dinner time. All right, so you've gotta take the steak out of the vacuum sealed bag, dry it off really good and season it. Then you put it in the hot pan with avocado oil to sear it. That's looking good. They look nice. Okay. Now, let's make the marsala sauce. Let's add some butter. Usually I would add um, mushrooms to this, sauteed mushrooms and onion. I didn't have any mushrooms and I decided not to pull with onion. It's just a regular Marcella sauce without the mushrooms. It uh, holds heat really well. I'm gonna turn it back on low. I'm gonna throw a little flour in. Normally I would put mushrooms in the sauce, but I don't have any today. I'd saute them before I added the butter and the flour. We're making a little roux here. Roux. A roux. It's pronounced roux. I forget how you say it. I couldn't remember. It's kind of deep laser. Roux. Roux. Meaty bits. R O U X. It's roux. Then we're going to add some garlic. I like to add about a clove or two. Minced garlic. You let that cook a little while, but don't let it burn. Wait till it gets fragrant. Yummy. The juices from our vacuum sealed bag where we sous-vide the steak. So, that doesn't look appetizing. That is mostly myoglobin and fat from the uh, vacuum sealed bag that we cook the steaks in and the sous-vide. So I reserve that because I just like, I think it adds a lot of beef flavor. But if you want to do that, just add a can of beef broth. Because that doesn't look too good when it comes out of the bag. It's like globs of fat and that red juice is not blood, it's myoglobin from the steak cooking. Man, it is really good. I mean, I suggest you use that, but use a can of beef broth if you want. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. 
I probably could have added a little beef broth to thin that out. It's a little thick. Tastes really good. A little thick. I ended up adding, you know, the Marcella well, wine and the red wine to thin it out. One. So we'll add a little bit of this red wine to thin it. A little more. All the little meaty bits from the steak searing and then I think I made hash browns the last time I cooked in this cast iron pan. I didn't really wash it. It's all good. It's all good. Add a little starch. You know. It's cast iron. You don't really wash it. You rinse it out, scrape it. You get seconds for that to creep in. See, this is taking even longer right now. For it to fill in that spot. Then you know you're about ready. Okay, it's gonna be our little pan sauce. Let's go carve a steak. Ooh. Look at that, that looks beautiful. That is the perfect color, look at that. Pink throughout, that is the advantage of sous vide. You see that? It's just edge to edge, pink, 132. It might have got up to 133, 134 while I was searing it, but look at that. There's no gray band around the edge. It's not pink just in the very, very middle. It's your desired temp throughout, except for the outside crust where you seared it. So, just like the reverse sear on the egg, you cook it slow and then you sear it. When you go hot and fast with a steak, which is traditional, you know, most people go hot and fast with the steak. That's the uh, traditional school of thought. You get that gray band around it. It's overcooked a couple millimeters at least around all the edges. And it's only your desired temperature in the very middle. Look at that song. Let's try this out. Let's see how it turned. I didn't use any recipes, I just did what I thought might be good. Pan sauce is a little thicker than a mint. Wow. This is a sirloin, but it's really good. Man, I like that pan sauce. Normally I put mushrooms, sauteed onions, you know, stuff like that in it. But this is good. This is really, really good. I did use two tablespoons of flour. I think flour has carbs in it. I started keto on the 1st of January for my New Year's resolution. I wasn't thinking I'm eating carbs. Not too many though. I highly recommend this. So, get some sous vide equipment, sous vide steak, syrup in a cast iron pan, make a pan sauce. It's really easy. I do like cooking on my big ring egg. A little better for steak because it gives it that charcoal flavor but if you've got an ice storm outside do it like this it's so easy well i'm almost done with my steak until next time enjoy cooking stuff well till next time enjoy <coughs> enjoy cooking stuff well Till next time, enjoy cooking stuff. You said that twice. I know. Hey. Mm.